We're going to be palpating fibularis longus, otherwise known as peroneus longus. So I'm going to be rolling the leg out to get more of a lateral view. And we're going to be identifying the head of the fibula as the uppermost attachment for it. So I'm going to start by finding the tibial tuberosity of the tibia. And I like to move straight lateral until I encounter the head of the fibula, which is a little bit more posterior than it is anterior. There are a few other ways to identify it, um, so look for other videos on how to find this head of the fibula. But once you've identified the head of the fibula, I'm going to ask my partner here to do the prime function of these fibularis muscles, which is eversion. So I'm going to provide some resistance to the outside of the leg. Great and then relax and push out into me again. And you can easily see the taut tendon of fibularis longus going all the way up to approximately the halfway point in the leg and then the tendinous part stops and we get into more muscle belly. So the muscle belly is originating off this head of the fibula and the proximal lateral shaft of the fibula right in this area here. And then around that halfway point is where it starts turning more tendinous. So again, we'll get that activation. Great. So I'm going to turn more to a strum as I cross fiber this tendon. You can see me bouncing up and down on it right in this area here. And we're going to go behind the lateral malleolus of the fibula. And this is where you're most likely going to lose visual of it. So I'm going to relax the foot a little bit here. So proximal to the lateral malleolus is a more prominent fibularis longus tendon but as you go behind and below if they push out into eversion it actually becomes the brevis tendon which is more obvious the longest tendon is actually diving right here as it's going to go underneath the bone known as cuboid I'm just going to bring the foot up a little bit so it's going underneath cuboid it's running across the plantar aspect really deep in the layering and then it's going to be inserting over on the medial foot. So I'm going to take my other fingers and orient myself. I'm finding the base of the first metatarsal and the medial cuneiform. So where I am right here with my fingers is the insertion of tibialis anterior but on more the lateral plantar, deep inside the layering of the foot, is the insertion of fibularis longus. So the same two bones, but more on the lateral plantar versus tibialis anterior on the medial plantar. So that means that these two muscles kind of work opposing each other, tib ant doing dorsiflexion inversion, and fibularis longus doing plantar eversion. You will not be able to find the tendon's exact insertion into the two bones, so just reference using the medial aspect and then kind of sinking in to the plantar aspect of the foot. So that is going to conclude our palpation of fibularis longus.